Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Katao Shoujo. I'm voiceover guy. Uh, there's already uh, one chick that I've met in this uh, game that I already think is going to be the first one I go after. Based just on my personal preferences in women in general. And I thought it might be fun for you guys to try and guess it in the comments. I mean, if you want to, whatever. If not, you know, there's not too many comments on these videos anyway. So I'm figuring people just kind of watch them, enjoy them, and then close out right away. Which is cool too. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop right back into this. Just around the corner of the hallway, something hits me in the chest with the force of a runaway train. Thud! Ow! Opening my eyes, I, I, I see a pair of saucer-like green eyes looking up at me. They belong to the perpetrator. A short girl who bumped into me and has fallen down into the hallway floor. Onto the hallway floor. She wears a PE uniform and a very worried frown. The former strikes me as a rather strange thing to have on during a lunch break. More striking than that, though, is that she doesn't have any legs. <clears throat> or she does, but they're not flesh and bone. Her pale and very much flesh and bone thighs end in shins and feet made of some black metallic or plastic-like material. They look disturbingly artificial and unnatural. It almost looks like... It almost makes me forget that my chest is hurting. <laughs> the girl winces a little, rubs her nose, and jumps up. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, wait. Hold on. How am I going to do this? Aw, <clears throat> oh, man. Hey, are you alright? I'm sorry about that. Really. <clears throat> I wasn't looking where I was going, and you just came out of nowhere. Sorry, sorry. She's looking really apologetic. <clears throat> in the hurt puppy way of looking apologetic. I quickly forget about being angry or anything, since hurt puppies are my weak spot. It's okay, don't worry about it. Ah! I say that, but there's a stinging pain growing in my chest, and I know that this is about the biggest possible danger for my condition. Don't overexert yourself, don't forget your medication, and most of all, don't get hit in the chest. I try to rub my solar plexus to chase the pain away, holding my breath in an attempt to hear my heartbeat. Seems normal. Hey, should I get a nurse? <clears throat> the worried, high-pitched voice of the girl snaps me out of it. I stare at her for a few seconds, dumbfounded, until I realize that I probably looked worse off than I really was, doubled over myself and looking all tense. Damn, I'm overly worried about my heart. Uh, no need, I'm fine. <clears throat> Managing to say something in response, I pull myself upright, feeling my sore ribs one last time, and take a deep breath. She just knocked the wind out of me. Big time. But it's nothing more than that. You sure you're okay? I hit you pretty hard. <clears throat> it's okay. I said I was fine, and nothing's broken. No harm done. That's good. I was... I feel a hand on my shoulder at the same time. I didn't even click the frickin' what? Ugh. Ah! Oh, Shizune, you look so mad. I don't have time to look behind me because Shizune is already shoving me aside and stomping over to the girl, signing furiously at her. Miss Ibarazaki! Ibarazaki, I saw that! Running in the halls is strictly forbidden! Misha translates right on Shizune's tail, but her voice is girlish, girlishly playful, not full of the divine fury Shizune's arm movements would seem to call for. Uh, uh, sorry! I was just going to get some stuff and I was kinda in a hurry! Oh, dad, dad, dad! You've been told this a thousand times before. Your reckless behavior endangers other students, and even worse, it's explicitly against the school regulations. The girl blushes and starts to fidget nervously like a little child caught misbehaving. It's so cute, I find myself smiling. I know that. I was... I, um... I was just... Dad, dad, dad. Make sure that this will never happen again, or I'll cut off your arms and legs. Oh, you already lost your- Oh, that's so mean, I'm sorry. Although I'm sure telling you this is futile, and only because my- <laughs> It only causes me further headache when you will choose to ignore the regulations. Got that, Emmy? <clears throat> the small girl sticks her tongue out in response. Ah, uh, I gotta go. Teacher will have my head. I promised to help with printouts, and I went running instead. Sorry, but I've got to change everything. Have to change and everything. Before Misha and Shizune or I can say anything, she's already bolted from somewhere she left a second ago. From where she was a second ago. 
almost halfway towards the stairwell. Shizune looks like she's about to go nuclear on the spot, so I smile at her in a vain attempt to calm her down. Da, da, da. Are you okay, Hee-chan? That Ibaruzaki girl is always like that, causing trouble to others. You know, I'm pretty certain Shizune wouldn't call me Hee-chan. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Da, da, da. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I'm okay. Just got the wind knocked out of me. Da, da, da. That's great, Hee-chan. I wouldn't call that great, but I let it slide this one time. No, dot dot dot. So let's hurry, he John, to have lunch. We promise it'll be great. I'll take your word for it. What kind of place is it? A restaurant or something? Oh, a restaurant or something? Dot dot dot. <clears throat> it's a tea house, he John. A tea house? That sounds kind of fancy. <clears throat> No, do, do, do. Why are you looking at your wallet, Hee-chan? It's okay if you don't have any money. We'll cover for you. That's really nice of you. Thanks. It's okay, Hee-chan. After all, we're friends, right? Hee-chan. It's only been three days. Are we really friends that quickly? Huh. But hearing that makes me happy. Mm, da, da, da. Ah, it's only for today, though. <laughs> and only if you accept right now. Do you want to go, Hee-chan? <coughs> I start wondering if this is some kind of trap. Is this Misha's suggestion or Shizune's? This is important. I'm still a little apprehensive about the possible motives for, of a girl whose favorite pastime is the game of world domination. No, I'm just being paranoid. Actually, they've grown on me already, and I have to go to town sometime, so why not now with them? I've never actually been to a tea house before. All my expectations from what I've seen, on, seen about them on TV Mm. But those are period dramas, and these are modern times. It might just be a regular cafe, and they're just calling it a tea house. Either way, I'm curious about that, too. So there's reason for me to join them. Sure. That's great, Hee-chan! That's great! That's great! Yay! Misha hops up and down briefly to show how happy she is, which causes a few heads to turn towards us. Shizune opts for a polite tiny clap that lasts for all of two seconds before she goes back to looking stoic as usual. Would it kill you to be a little happier, Shizune? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Oh, I wasn't aware that Hichan was a king! <laughs> <clears throat> Shizune pushes her glasses up as Misha delivers her message totally without sarcasm. I guess it would sting more if she could say it with the intent Shizune meant behind it. So, for once, I'm happy to have Misha as a barrier between us. I'm not telling you to jump for joy just because I'm having lunch with you. I'm not that arrogant. She seems to accept this, and we head for town with Shizune leading the way. Watching her walk in front of me, I notice that she walks very quickly, taking long, heavy, determined strides. Maybe if we were traveling through a snowstorm, it would make sense to just walk like that, but it's a perfectly clear day. Anyway, it's making me feel exhausted just watching her. We arrive at the tea house in what Misha says is record time. Likely because of Shizune's blazing pace. I feel a little let down, seeing that it's not a huge, feudal era building with mats on the floor and women in kimonos, kimonos pouring out the tea. It actually is more like a cafe, as I thought. Not that it's a bad thing. It looks very nice. As soon as I walk through the door, someone zooms in front of us, as if they had been lying in wait the entire time. Welcome! Thank you for patronizing this establishment. <clears throat> The top half of her body drops forward in a bow that looks like an axe chopping through wood. I'm surprised to see it's none other than Yuko, the librarian. Hey, I didn't know you worked here. Oh, yes, I do. I'm a waitress. I've been working here for one year, six months, and two weeks now. Thank you for choosing to come here. Is there anything I can do for you? <coughs> uh. Hi, Yu-chan! <coughs> Hello. Misha, you both know her too? Of course, he chan Yu-chan works in the library, after all. <clears throat> I don't go there often myself, but Shi-chan knows her, and we both come here a lot, so it's likely, so it's like we see her all the time. Uh, yes. Should I get you your usuals? And if there's anything you would want, please feel free to tell me at any time. You don't have to be so formal. We all know each other. It's also pretty empty today, so she can afford to take it easy. I was hoping she would stop looking so nervous, but my words have the opposite effect. 
No, I'm a waitress. This is my job. I have to do it properly. Da da da. Okay, okay. That works for Shichan. You, Chan, please get Shichan what she usually gets, and I'll have some green tea with milk and honey. <clears throat> no pressure. Um, yes, but this is my job, and there's always pressure. I'm sorry, I'm arguing with a customer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yuko takes another hundred mile per hour bow. I decide to give up and join Shizune and Misha at a table. As soon as I sit down, Yuko comes by looking even more upset than before. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I forgot to take your order. I'm not attentive to customers. That's not right. I'm sorry. If there's anything I can do to make up for it, please tell me. Oh. <clears throat> Them phases. It's okay, yu chan He chan didn't order anything, so it's not your fault. Don't be upset. It's true. I guess I should order now. But I don't know what this place serves, and there doesn't seem to be a menu. <clears throat> yeah, she's right. I'll have some coffee and a sandwich, if you have one. Whichever sandwich you think is the best tasting one here, because Shizune is paying for my meal. Shizune frowns and give me, gives me alternating looks of surprise, indignation, and bemusement, unable to decide between the three. Dot dot dot. Hey John, just how much money do you have in your wallet? It can't be that little, right? Right? We should split the cost three ways to make it fair. Yeah, I won't accept anything else. Misha turns to Yuko. Yu-chan, Shi-chan says she wants three of whatever is the most expensive item on the menu. No! <laughs> just kidding, he chan Um, okay. I think that the turkey sandwich is the most delicious sandwich, and it comes with free soup. A good employee would try to recommend the item that there is the most of, though, or the most expensive item. Am I bad at my job? No! That sounds good! I'll have that! And some coffee! Okay. She comes back a few minutes later with our drinks and my sandwich. Shizune seems to be fine with just her tea, while Misha also orders a parfait. I don't know why. <clears throat> because I can't imagine many other things that would go worse with tea. <laughs> oh well, I take a bite out of my sandwich. It's very good. Da da da. Hey John, have you thought about joining the student council? Huh? Da da da. Don't talk with your mouth full, He Chan. I wash my food down with a sip of coffee and don't tell me to talk with my mother, which is also surprisingly good. But now's not the time to remark on how this place was good has good food. You said you understood it was too early to expect me to make a decision this quickly. That was like three hours ago. <clears throat> a man should be decisive, He Chan. <laughs> da, da, da. <clears throat> you really should join the student council, He Chan. Come on, it'll be fun. People always say, come on, it'll be fun, about things that are never, ever fun. <clears throat> come on, you have a heart problem, let's go to the hospital, it'll be fun. Don't believe me, He Chan. Don't you believe me, Hee-chan? Is it Shizune saying that, or Misha? What a cute expression. But the effect is somewhat jarring, like she has split personalities. Uh... Da da da. <clears throat> Hee-chan, that's depressing. We just want to spend time with you. Da da da. That's right, Shichan. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Oh, da da da. Yep, that's beneficial to everyone. It solves all of our problems. <clears throat> da da da. Yeah, I also thought he chan would appreciate it. That makes me sad. Suddenly, I feel really left out. It's rude to talk about someone without letting them in on the conversation. Shizune adjusts her glasses, laughing to herself. Ah, oh, but it's true, he chan And you would be helping us out. Membership has been really low this year. How low? Ah, that's a secret, he chan <clears throat> No, I want to know how low it is. How low is low. <laughs> Five? Da da da. Lower? Well. Zero? Da da da. <laughs> he tried, that isn't important. What matters is the number is low, and that is why we uh, would appreciate you giving us a hand. Especially with the festival coming up so soon, and it's looking to be a busy year ahead of us in general. So you're not going to answer my question? <clears throat> no, da da da. Nope. I sigh and straighten up in my chair, trying to look as defiant as possible, because this seems to be a big issue and I do not want to let it go that easily. I feel silly, like a blowfish. <clears throat> Fine, at least tell me this. How many people are in the student council total? Dot dot dot. Um, well, Hee-chan, we're definitely undermanned, 
But we have enough members to get the job done, yep, yep. It's not just the two of you, is it? <laughs> Each other, that's funny. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. But uh, it's definitely not just us. <clears throat> Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Yep. I stare at them both, trying to see if they will slip up and confirm my worst fears. Misha frowns, looking uncomfortable, but that is probably because I'm staring at her. Suzune, on the other hand, returns my gaze with one of her own. Maybe she's challenging me, peering at me over the rims of her glasses like that. So teasing, and surprisingly immature, like a little girl beckoning someone to play with her. Dot dot dot. Hee-chan, you're too, you're too cute student council representatives have been trying to make you feel welcome and are you even, and are even treating you to lunch. You should show your gratitude by joining the student council, so you can at least help them out. <clears throat> yeah, it would be great if you could just file some papers for us, and the festival's coming up, and we have to have some, build some stalls for the games and food, and just a few, so if you were there, it would be a lot easier for us. Please, he chan What an interesting good cop-bad routine. I'll give it a shot, why not? Just a shot. Okay, I'll give it a trial run. It doesn't mean I'm joining, or anything definite. Just that I'll help out a little, and then I'll see. And this makes us even for lunch. I'm not doing this because I want to. I finish off the last of my sandwich, and this makes Misha notice for the first time in a while that she has a parfait. She starts digging in, much to Shizune's chagrin, <clears throat> because I can tell from the way she plays with her finger that she had a lot to say. Every time I look at Shizune, she looks back with such a focus and intensity. Eh, with such focus and intensity. This time is no exception. Her face is expressionless. Maybe she's thinking. Eventually, it gives way to a smile. Hmm, da da da. She signs something, and obviously I can't understand it at all. She has to know that. Then she does it again. A childish playfulness showing through in the speed and energy of her gesture. Da da da. Misha, what did she say? Hmm? <clears throat> Misha looks up from her parfait, torn between wanting to help out and going back to eating. What does this mean? I try my best to make the same movements with my hands that Shizune did. I come to realize quickly that this isn't very easy. Imagine doing this all day, as your only means of communication. Hmm, sorry, Hee-chan, I can't tell you. Why not? Is it an insult? No, Hee-chan, I can't tell you because it means something nice. <clears throat> Something nice, huh? Well, they've gone back to their tea and food, so I guess their conversation is over for now. This kind. Con this conversation's over for now. I don't really understand. And this makes me wish that I could. Maybe I could even try learning sign language. This school might have courses for it. Would I really do that? I think about it as a, I finish the rest of my coffee. I wonder why I'd even be motivated to think about it. I'm enjoying myself so much that I don't even notice that we were supposed to be back in class ten minutes ago. <laughs> Even if I were to start heading back to school right now, it would take at least 30 minutes, maybe? I can't risk running fast with my condition, so it would take at least that long to get there. Well, 10 minutes late already as I am, it wouldn't matter even if I could teleport. <clears throat> Something wrong, Hee-chan? I just realized lunch break ended 10 minutes ago. It's only my third day and I'm already going to miss a class. <clears throat> no, da, da, da. Yep, you're already late. Hey, that's not funny, so are you. And aren't you two in the student council? You're setting a bad example. Hee-chan is so moral. Dot dot dot. But, Hee-chan's right, he is late for class, and it looks like you're cutting too. Hee-chan, because you're not making an effort to go. As your student council representatives, we're gonna have to do something about this and make sure you're punished for it. But you two dragged me out here. This is all your fault. Take responsibility. Dot dot dot. Hee-chan, we were just making a prospective student council member out to try and recruit him. It's business. Business! But, you're not a member of the council, so there's no excuse. Yes, there is. That prospective student council member is clearly me. Dot dot dot. Yes, and you're going to join the student council, Hee-chan. Are you going to join the student council, Hee-chan? Shizune raises her teacup haughtily and wags her outstretched pinky finger up and down. Dot dot dot. Hee-chan, if only you were a member of the student council, but you can still join now, Hee-chan. If you join now, you won't be in any trouble at all, and we'll be able to take m many more... Ah. And you'll be able to take... God dang it. If 
If you join now, you won't be in any trouble at all, and we'll be able to take many more nice excursions like this all the time. It'll be fun! Ugh, I hate getting caught on things. I start to think that maybe this was all an elaborate setup leading up to this moment. Maybe Shizune lured me out here, banking on the possibility that I'd lose track of time and be forced into the situation. Diabolical. Well, considering what I know of her, I should have been more on my guard. But to admit that I got myself into this, even slightly, would be unforgivable. I try to read Shizune's intentions in her eyes, but she just returns my stare blankly. Innocently. She takes a sip of tea, like she's mocking me. Dot dot dot. <clears throat> By the way, Hee-chan, I didn't plan this at all. Things just happened to work out this way. I was almost about to drop my theory as paranoia, but this puts a new spin on things. I almost fall over in awe. So it really was an elaborate setup from the very beginning, all just to burn me and force me to join the student council. Da da da. <laughs> you look so nervous, he John. Did you really think we were tricking you this whole time? You're not. He John, you really thought? Misha frowns, looking heartbroken. Shizune quickly frowns as well, following her lead. How synchronized! Two of a perfect pair. They must be twins. Da da da. Shichan says she's flattered, Hichan, but doing that kind of thing would be a grossly inappropriate abuse of power and imposing on your free will, and it would be blackmail, too. Shichan would never do anything like that, never! I think about asking Misha, are you sure, but resist the urge to. Dot dot dot. Anyway, Hichan, what Shichan said is true. Since you're with us and we're doing student council work, it's okay if we miss a class or two. Dot dot dot. Not that it's a good excuse to do so. Da da da. Or that one, or one that should be used more than three times a month. Da da da. Or something that can or should be abused. Da da da. da. So we must definitely, definitely return to class eventually. <laughs> Shizune waves Yuko over and points to her empty teacup, indicating that she wants another one as Misha scrambles to finish her parfait so she can order something else. Maybe I should as well. I'm still hungry, and the portions here are a little on the small side. Most importantly, Shizune is paying for everything. With that in mind, I ask Yuko for another sandwich. By the time we leave the tea shop, I've missed not just one class, but two. And we will continue the rest on the way back to school on another day. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like. If you disliked it, please leave a dislike. If you have any criticisms or anything you'd like to say, please leave it in a comment. And as always, have a good day.